Hello and welcome to this lesson about potential dividers. I am looking for you to be able to do three things today and that's to be able to calculate the total resistance for resistors in series, to explain what a potential divider does and very importantly how a potential divider actually works. Firstly then we need to work out the total resistance for resistors in series. When any resistor is connected in series as you add more and more resistance, that will increase the total resistance of the circuit. We can demonstrate this with a very simple relationship. In the example to the left, I have three resistors in series. So to work out the total resistance, all I need to do is add those three resistances together. So to find the total resistance, I'm just going to add together 10 ohms to the 20 ohms to the 30 ohms, which gives a combined resistance of 60 ohms for this particular circuit. So before we go on to look at a potential divider, it's worth reminding you of some of the key characteristics of a series circuit. The first of which is that the current in a series circuit is the same everywhere. It's the same here, as here, as here, as here, and even as here. So if you have a current of 0.5 amps flowing in a series circuit, it will be the same everywhere within that circuit. The second feature of a series circuit is that the EMF of the supply is shared between the resistors in series. Now if the resistors are all equal, then the voltage or the EMF will be shared equally between them. But our resistors are not equal, and in this case, the voltage will be shared in proportion to the size of the resistor. So we have 12 volts being given to the circuit, and those 12 volts will be shared in this way. Our 10 ohm resistor is a sixth of the overall 60 ohms, so it's be a sixth of 12 volts, which is 2 volts. Our 20 ohm resistor will have um, a third of the overall voltage, because it's a third of the overall resistance, and so it will have 4 volts. And then finally, our 30 ohm resistor will have half of the supply voltage and it will have 6 volts. 2 plus 4 plus 6 makes 12, and so our voltage has been shared between those three resistors. Another word for sharing is dividing, so we can say that the potential of the circuit has been divided between the three resistors. And this gives you a clue as to what the potential divider does. A potential divider splits the voltage between two resistors. So to answer the question about what does a potential divider do, here are some key statements. So just a reminder, in a series circuit the current is the same everywhere. That means that the total voltage is shared between all the components in proportion to the resistances, as we've just seen. The voltage across a component is known as the potential difference. And a potential divider simply shares the voltage between two resistors connected in series. It's used to change the supply voltage for the electronic circuits, so it's a very important application of a series circuit. So how does a potential divider work? Well, it's very simple. It simply splits the supply voltage, which is labelled V in here, between two resistors, R1 and R2. If R1 and R2 are the same, then the voltage will be split equally. But if they're different, then the voltage will be split in proportion to the resistance. The voltage from either resistor can then be used as an output to another electronic circuit. If we were to replace the second resistor, R2, with a variable resistor, then it would be very easy to change the output voltage as required. Finally, we need to know how we can work out the output voltage. You may have noticed that the diagram on the left has changed a little bit. The power supply is not shown, and there is a line that is shown as 0 volts. All voltages are shown relative to this 0 volts. We can calculate V out by using ratios. In this example, our voltage in is equal to 30 volts, and our R1 is equal to 4 ohms, and our R2 is equal to 8 ohms. So R2 has twice the resistance as R1. This means it's going to get twice the share of the voltage. So if we have 30 volts going into the circuit, then R1 will get a third of that 30 volts, which is 10 volts, and R2 
will get twice its share, which is 20 volts. And that's how a potential divider works. So in this particular circuit, the voltage coming out of the actual circuit, V out, will be equal to 20 volts. And that would be linked to another circuit and we'd be powering it in that way. And finally, I hope that this lesson on potential dividers has been useful. I've shown you three things. In particular, I've shown you how to calculate the total resistance for some resistors in series. I've shown you what a potential divider does and how it works. And in particular, we've also shown you how to work out the output voltage from a potential divider circuit.